Along with our brand new show, we're also debuting a brand new segment, which I want to talk about when we get back. Yes, yes, a uh, we're going to come back and we're going to talk about it, but it's a segment that we can all get down with and we'd love to introduce you to Crafting with the Katies. Our fellow co-workers Katie Boyer and Katie Barecki have put together all things DIY and crafting for you and this week they're going to kick it off with a festive wreath. Hi, and welcome to our first ever Crafting with the Katies. I'm Katie. And I'm Katie. And today we're gonna be diving into our first ever craft. But let's talk a little bit about how we got here. So Katie, you've been here for about nine years nine now? Nine years, yep. I'm a video editor here. And one night Katie and I were out and talking and we basically discovered that we both love crafting and we're both makers in our own right. So we wanted to put together a little segment that we could show the audience, you guys at home, um, some things that we enjoy doing and yeah. something that you could do yourself. Some seasonal crafts, some fun crafts, yes. just anything to kind of, I don't do at home. As the temperature starts to drop and pumpkin spice, everything hits the shelves, we're looking to make a wreath that encompasses all those cozy fall feelings. First things first, we want to know how this wreath is going to hang. Before we attach anything, we need to figure out what's going to be the top and what's going to be the bottom. Being able to see all the supplies and accessories will help us get an idea of what we ultimately will make our project look like. We took a little trip to Pinterest to get some inspiration before heading to our local craft store. First, we started cutting the flower stems from the bouquet. Remember to cut the flowers longer than you might need. You can always trim them down later. We're arranging the flowers and sticking them around our wreath. The wreath, because it's made of twisted wooden sticks, lends itself for some trial and error. Nothing is permanent, so we can always remove the flowers and try again. Once you see the placement you like, go through with hot glue or wire it into place. We've got wires in two different colors so you can match it to your medium and hide it better. Here's where you can cut those longer wires. Make sure you're using wire cutters. It's an easy way to ruin a good pair of scissors. Our flowers are a good base, but now it's time to add those accents. We're practically done with our creations. Find out the final steps before these wreaths are front door ready. The pine cones were a little tricky to glue. We wrapped the brown wire around the pine cone and stuck it through the weavings of the wreath. The pumpkins go on top. Flip those wreaths over and continue to trim down and secure the wires. Extra glue won't hurt anything. Northern Michigan weather can be rough, so extra security will definitely help. You want to have somewhere you can hang the wreath, whether it's a hook or a nail. I added an extra wire circle to the back. I actually found before I did my hook that there's a little hook that I can already hook on. Yeah, pre-built so. in. So I have mine just a little bit more secured, but Katie has some great stuff back here that she'd be able to yeah. hook on with a nail. So we're completed our wreaths. I think they turned out really good. I, I like them. Awesome. A little bit of glue, a lot of wire, and then the twigs definitely helped us be able to stick things in place yes. and then secure them later. What a beautiful craft. With yeah. us right now, we've got live on set, we've got Katie Boyer and Katie Barecki. Let's, let's get that right. And I do want to say, I do have to make a big deal about this because this is Katie Boyer's on TV yes. debut. Yes. <laughs> I'm very nervous, but we're here, we're doing this. It's yes, great. yes. And we're here to talk about our craft that we made. Uh, yes. which is the fall wreaths. I mean, just jump right into fall. It's September. Why not? <laughs> Tell me about your inspiration for these pieces. Yeah. Oh, inspiration? Oh, I don't even know. It was just kind of like whatever we wanted to do. We just yeah. grabbed everything. Katie got all the supplies. Yep. I went to the craft store and bought all the stuff. I've overbought, definitely. <laughs> um, so much so that we had an extra whole wreath that we could put together. Yeah. But um, we just wanted to be able to do... A wreath is something pretty simple that you can go in any direction. You can do one for Valentine's Day. You can do one for Halloween. There's so many different topics that you could 
cover. Yeah. So we thought that this would be a great first project for everybody because, I mean, even the difference between mine and Katie's. Yeah. Yes. I kind of put everything on mine. <laughs> and Katie did like a cute <laughs> little, two more, little bouquets. More and, minimal. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. We're discovering our different styles <laughs> yes. when it comes to crafting. You know, some people may look at these and say, okay, I can just go to the store and buy mm, one of these. Yes. Why would I spend my time making a wreath? That's exactly what my husband said. You could just buy one. There's one at the end of this aisle. Why are you getting all these supplies? <laughs> it's just, it's something to be able to do creatively and, and be an outlet for anybody yeah. to do, you know, something crafty that isn't, you know, drawing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's certain skill sets that you need to have for other things. And this just is easy peasy and turns out beautiful. But let's normalize the fun of the entire activity, not just gluing things on, mm -hmm. but right. shopping for the stuff. Because Katie, <laughs> that was one fun thing about yes. you. You came back post this shopping trip and you said, I put too many things in my car. <laughs> yes. I picked up too many things. And there is such thing as getting Every too craft. many things. <laughs> Every craft, yes. Yeah. No, and I mean, I've done a few for our next projects. It's just fun to be able to go to your local craft store and just kind of see what they have, see sometimes they have different uh, inspiration posters or whatever, but then you know you go and you make it your own and I think that's what makes this so unique and so fun. That's what I, I think this whole segment is fun and unique and, and something that you can do at home and make your own. Not to mention therapeutic. Yeah, that's do true. your families ask you to make these for them? <laughs> like, is this your designated <laughs> job? <laughs> Instead of you bringing, you know, the pound cake or the potato salad, you bring wreaths uh, to the holidays. I probably, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Starting now, I will. Yeah, sure. <laughs> that's, that's, a good, that's a good thing to bring up, Sid. You know, maybe for the people who aren't very good at baking, you can right. just settle and bring a nice, <laughs> bring, yeah. bring a nice centerpiece. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> that's a good idea. I no, I think that's genius. Yeah. So do you, I mean, do you ladies cook and no. can you is okay. So this is your alternative. <laughs> so this is it. Yes. Well, okay. You're welcome. <laughs> we don't want to give away any spoilers, but we're so excited because you guys are going to be joining us every single week and you guys yes. are going to be tackling different crafts. Yes. Yes. Yeah, we have lots of fall crafts coming up soon. Ooh. We have some plants Planting, coming yes. up soon. So yeah. It'll be very exciting. We're excited. Too. I'm excited. Yes. I'm curious about the plants because we're transitioning into fall, winter. So what are we going to talk about when it comes to plants? They're indoor plants. Mm -hmm. Okay. But we're, we're able to kind of stretch the dollar where you buy a major plant and then you're able to kind of propagate off of that. I don't want to give too much away. Okay. okay. For next week. <laughs> just a little, just a little. Hey, yeah, because I'm, I'm curious because I kill all of my plants. <laughs> oh, no. I, I no. indoor, outdoor, it doesn't matter. So you this is a struggle. You and I have got something in common. Yeah. <laughs> You've got, you and I have got something in common. I've tried to give you plants before and you said no. You have, you have. Right. She's tried yes. giving me plants and I said, my cat will eat it. There's no yes. point here. <laughs> but I, I love that you guys take these ideas of something that is so small and how you can get creative with it. Because truly, I mean, what we want to tell people on this show is that it's all in the way that you look at things. Mm -hmm. So whether that be your, or your husband saying why are you why can't you just buy that reef yeah. you want to know what I'm challenging myself yes. to, to put myself out of the box and make something that maybe I've never made before yes. Absolutely. and let's be honest this isn't just something you can put on your door this actually is decor for your table so oh it's a centerpiece of that yeah. and you then, could yeah, yeah and so I'm thinking you could actually put a vase in the middle of here yes you know for the fall and then Madison has this lovely antique table runner <laughs> that she proposed that we have on the show. And as you all can see, we do have a new set for GDM, <laughs> right? So it's a little bit different. And, and curating this, she but thought- My table runner did not make no, the cut. Oh, no, the table runner, I, I had to break it to her. That did not make the cut. <laughs> However- It was a little too old. It was, it was vintage. <laughs> I don't like saying old. <laughs> It was vintage <laughs> and it was antique. Yes. And it just didn't fit. However, I think it is very appropriate to fit mm. under this. Thank you. Okay. On your table. I think that would be very cute. And then add in your your know, hourglass yeah, piece see? that you have. We're brainstorming. Yes. We're brainstorming. That's Definitely you for the holidays. runner to my house. For we'll see. <laughs> so, Great. So I'll bring yeah. the table runner to your house yeah. for Thanksgiving. Sid will bring some food and then yeah. you guys will bring the crafts. Yes. It'll, be a, it'll be a lovely time. <laughs>